afternoon, y'all. This is Mandis. I am back here with you all with the True Glow Diaries. Today, I am in Toronto, Canada for the first time. I'm here with my friend, Angelique. Say hey. <laughs> and I just randomly booked this trip, booked this flight, and did not know that we were going to be coming on the actual um, holiday Canada Day. So I'm pretty sure we'll be running into some festivities and celebrations for that. And we are going to take you along with us. Okay, y'all, so we just got finished eating and we took an Uber over here to the Toronto sign, but it started raining. It started raining, you see the edges just started to pop back up. But we're gonna sit here and see if the rain slows down some and then try to take some pictures over here by the um, Toronto sign. restaurant that Angelique found called Antonio Park. I don't know if y'all see the sign. Anywho, but it's like a rooftop situation and we went to the wrong side of the building. The elevator's here. We went to the wrong side of the building, but we're on the right side now, so come on y'all.
How does it feel to be in Toronto, Angelique? Huh? How does it feel to be in Toronto? I feel I'm glad I finally made it. You glad you finally made it? I'm glad I made it. Me too. You know, I'm here to support Drake. <laughs> I'm done with you. <laughs> so, how does it feel to be in Toronto? It feels good. It feels fabulous. <laughs> I'm happy to be here. I've been wanting to come for a while. Y'all, we just got finished eating dinner. We were sitting outside as you see my hair frizzed up. It was good. Fran had some kind of special steak. What was it? Wangu. The Wangu. You know, she treated herself and her birthday is in well, a week or two. So cancer season. Cancer season. But um, yeah, girl is food. Some and poking. Why we ate it. <laughs> We are in the train station across the street from my hotel looking for a convenience store to get some water and snacks because y'all know how it is in the hotels like it costs a lot to drink the drinks they have in your refrigerator already in your room so yeah, we're in the train station. See the art behind me? Okay, y'all, so we're back in our room, right? <laughs> we bought some Canadian snacks and stuff from the convenience store over there at the train station. So we were talking to the worker and asking him which snacks were, you know, Canadian and his recommendations on which one were good, right? And this random dude walks up behind us and he said, y'all sound like y'all from Atlanta. <laughs> and we was like, how you know? Cause y'all sound like a y'all accent. And then he was like, I follow this dude from Atlanta on Instagram. <laughs> like i want to go to atlanta no you don't sir no you don't you want to stay right up here in toronto that's what you want to do that's that's what you want and then what he say when we told him no he don't want to move down there you talking about he trying to come back with us mm -mm. you're, you're not here, sir. you're gonna stay up here it's actually very nice up here in toronto so stay up here and appreciate where you are because you don't want atlanta you don't but anyways, it was just the audacity for us that we weren't even talking to him. And he just walks out and y'all sound crazy. like y'all from Atlanta. But talking about candy-coated Chevys with big rims. <laughs> like, that's not what Atlanta is about. Like, you might have not even heard of Chevy. Like, that's not what Atlanta is about. Like, you might not even see that when you come. I mean, you probably right. will. You probably will somewhere. But, I but you're not going to see it everywhere. This Every street you go on, you're not really going about. to see that. It's funny how when you travel outside of Atlanta... And you get to see what people actually think about Atlanta. And I'm just like, you're watching too much reality TV. Well, like, we gotta stop. We gotta stop dragging out them vowels. That's how they know. We right. Them vowels <laughs> okay, so what gave it away was she had bought her snacks and it was like almost $30. And she said, Not me spending $30 on some snacks. And then. <laughs> That's when the dude was like, 
Y'all sound like y'all. <laughs> he was listening the whole time. He was listening the whole time, though. He was, but when you said that, that's when it must have clicked in his head. Okay, they definitely from The moral Atlanta. of the story is, no matter where you go, people are watching and people are listening. They are. They and are. not minding their business. <laughs> They not minding their business. But yes, that's the story. Now we some old ladies. We what? First of all, our flight got delayed by what? Five, five six hours. times. We didn't get to our hotel to 3 a.m. We slept maybe six hours. Got up, went to the gym. Came back, showered, got dressed. Um, Walked to our first destination. Got our little cute pastries. And then kept walking and went and got a little lunch. Then we went out to uh, where they had the Toronto sign, a big park area. Watched a performance there, took some pictures, got some of the drink there, some souvenirs. Um, by that time, we were sweating, boy. So we got an Uber back, took a shower, took a small break. Then went out to dinner at this nice rooftop that Angelique found called, um, what was it called? AP. AP. It was really nice. Like it was a rooftop all the way around on the top floor. And um yeah, so after that we was like, Yeah, we ain't trying to go out. We finna go back to the room and Netflix. So that's what we're doing now. We're about to watch a movie or something like that. But um yeah. So more of the story. Wherever you go, people are paying attention to you, okay? <laughs> so pay attention to your surroundings, okay? But anyways, yes. Good night, y'all. Hey, y'all. It is Sunday here, the day after Canada Day. And we are having afternoon tea here at our hotel. Um, this is the setup so far. But I will show you all um, the rest of the presentation when um, the rest of our tea and snacks come out. But yeah, we're having tea time, proper tea time. <laughs> And um, yeah, so that's what we're doing today. We're not sure what else we're going to do later on today. We were thinking about maybe going to the CN Tower, but we don't know. We really just did this trip on the whim and was like, let's go. So every day it's, what we going to do today? We're just waiting on what we got to do today. But yeah, right now we're at the new team. regular dessert. It's a substituted with the uh, ruby chocolate made okay. with a yuzu. Okay. Um, that's part of your um, dessert so you can have it at the end. On your right hand side we do have a smoked chicken curry aioli and a little bit of the um, Africa chutney. That's like coronation chicken but we put it on the dairy free bun instead of the brioche. Okay. And a second tier that's gonna be our um, country ham but we substitute it with a turkey. And uh, instead of the croissant, dairy-free bread, and a little bit of paprika, and the vegan cheese. So it's gonna be a dairy-free cheese for you. This is gonna be um, chicken pula, but because of the gelatin that we use, we changed that to uh, vegan cream cheese with a local strawberry jam. Nice. Classic cucumber sandwich with a vegan cream cheese as well. In-house smoked trout, bobo mm. island shrimp with the uh, saffron aioli. Everything in the bottom is going to be a dairy and a, um, the pork free, so gelatin free dessert on the bottom. Thank you. So
Y'all, we just got done with our tea time and we took some pictures and little cute videos. Now we're about to go back to our room and then um, we're gonna change it to some flats and then go to um, a happy hour. See, what's the name of the place? And yay ho. And yay ho. You know? <laughs> but yeah, we're just having a great time here in Toronto. It's not a lit vacation, but it's fun. It's fun and chill. And we really like the city so far. It's like, it's busy, but not chaotic. And it's very diverse. But there's still like a sense of unity, if that makes sense. And yesterday on Canada Day, like, they highlighted different cultures, different ethnic groups and everybody was participating and I really like that. I really appreciated that. So But it is hot. It is it's summertime, so but yeah. We're about to go on to the next activity for today and um as usual y'all coming along with us. Fruits and different fragrances um, that we can. 
can actually taste in the Blanco versus the Reposado versus the Añejo, which is the oldest aged tequila. <laughs> we just did Blanco. For me, it was kind of sweet, kind of caramel. It was very light, um, warm notes. It wasn't like a strong kick like a Don Julio. Um, very smooth. Yeah, it didn't, it didn't burn too much, but y'all know I'm not a hard liquor drinker. But okay, on to the next. Okay, we just did the second one, the Reposada. That one was actually smooth. I can deal with that one. It was smooth. And it gave me like a little mild sweet taste. It was really smooth. It didn't really burn my, you know, I ain't grown no hair on my chest, okay? I like that, that one was smooth. Yeah, it was no, no afterburn at all. So that's a good one. Okay, so that one was thumbs up from the both of us. <laughs> okay, okay guys, so we just had a viejo. And surprisingly for me, it was smooth. I can do it. It was a little, a little bit more fruity than the last one, but I can do it. I can do it. It's a little, a little heat, a little afterburn. Not bad at all, but very fruity on the first, you know, taste. So it's good. It's my favorite. It was her favorite. I'm gonna say the second one was my favorite because it gave like a little sweeter hit and you know I'm sweet baby so. But anyways, the tequila flight was nice. Remember if you come to Toronto, come to Añejo. They have happy hour between what? Five and then they have another one later in the day. They have a happy hour from three to five and then another one later in the day. So yeah, if you're a tequila fan or if you just want to try something different like us, come and try it out. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, we get a little chocolate. <laughs> Y'all, we stopped for a little little coffee. Angelique has a caramel latte with almond milk from this place called Aroma Espresso Bar. And then I have an extra small. I have never heard of an extra small in the state. <laughs> I have an extra small hazelnut latte in the hot with almond milk and they also gave us a little piece of chocolate yeah so <laughs>
Y'all, we over here looking at the um, entrance to the sea and tower. And right here is the tower, y'all. Let's see how far that go up. So we're gonna try to plan to do that in a few days. Um, today ain't the day to do it though. <laughs> yeah, she might try to come to the aquarium by herself tomorrow, but on our last day here, we're gonna try to get up early in the morning and do the tower at least. And I also wanna go to the water and see the water here as well, too late. But um, yeah, y'all. Area. The line is long. So, give them the verdict on your latte from a um, Aroma Espresso bar. Is it good? It's good. It tastes yeah. like coffee and not just sugar. Okay. And then I have the extra small hazelnut hot latte, and it is good. It wasn't sweet at all, really. And the hazelnut taste is strong, so I just added some raw sugar to it and it brought it out really good. So I like this place, it's really good. But yeah, so in a little bit, we're going to either like catch an Uber to our hotel, we got to see how far it is away. And um, because we have dinner reservations at our hotel, we'll show you all that too. Y'all, this is our last day here. We're about to explore a little bit, me and Miss Angie. She got us going to Kingsington Station, I believe. So we're just gonna go explore a little bit and then try to get back here in time to catch our flight back to the A.